Have you ever wondered what life on Earth would be like if we didn't have the moon circling above our heads? We wouldn't want to even imagine what the outcome of a moonless Earth would be like. So what if the moon was present, but somehow split in two? What would happen then? We can say for certain that the view of two half moons will be the least of our worries if that were to happen. So let's find out the rest. Imagine if a perfectly disc-shaped asteroid were to slam into the moon, splitting it into two halves with both halves now on opposite sides. First of all, the momentum from the collision might push both halves of the moon in opposite directions, such that one half breaks away from Earth's orbit, while the other remains but slowly moves closer to Earth. The one half of the moon that does remain will have some pretty daunting effects on Earth's ecosystem. Tides The moon is the major factor that controls the rise and fall of tides across every shoreline on the planet. With the moon now cut in half, it means it has just half of its original mass, meaning less gravitational force exerted on the oceans. The rise and fall of tides will become incredibly inconsistent, with areas known to have high tides seeing extremely low tides, and other parts of the world experiencing higher tides than usual. The effect of the moon on the tide will also affect the migration patterns of certain marine life. This is because certain marine life, such as turtles and crabs, need the daily rise and fall of the tides to know when to come on shore for breeding and when to return into the ocean for feeding. It would have drastic effects on the population of these marine lives, as they would be unable to reproduce properly and might die off as a result. Night and Day The moon helps maintain the rotation of the Earth, which is why we have 24 hours in a day. But now with the moon split in half, it only has half its mass and hence a reduced gravitational pull on Earth. This would result in the Earth speeding up its rotation with days now lasting for just 15 hours. This would mean roughly seven and a half hours of sunlight and seven and a half hours of darkness. This will not only affect the working dynamics of humans, as people would have to work fewer hours for less pay, but it will also have significant effects on our internal clock and sleep cycles. Circadian Rhythm All humans operate with what is known as a circadian rhythm, which tells us when we should go to sleep for how long, and when we should wake up. This rhythm is affected by the day and night circles of the Earth, and now with only less than 15 hours in a day, this will cause drastic changes in our overall health. This is why jet lag exists when humans change their geographical locations, and the circadian rhythm changes. It would lead to increased cases of high blood pressure, migraines, joint pains, and irregular heartbeats in most humans on Earth. The initial effects will be insomnia and oversleeping, as our bodies will struggle to adjust to fewer hours between sleeping and being awake. Humans wouldn't be the only species affected by this change in the day and night cycle. Animals would be greatly affected as well. Most nocturnal animals need the moon to see in the dark to hunt for prey and feed. With the brightness of the moon now drastically reduced, most of these nocturnal animals would starve being unable to hunt. Most species would see a drastic population reduction and some may even go extinct entirely, unless they quickly adapt to hunting during the short hours of the day. Wolves would howl at the moon more frequently and their hunting rhythms would turn upside down. It would take both humans and animals a few thousand years to adapt to the dimness of the moon, as our eyes would need to become slightly bigger to absorb more light and see properly at night. The Seasons The moon's gravity affects the Earth's tilt and rotation, and as such plays a significant role in the seasons and weather patterns on the planet. With the moon now at half its mass, its gravitational effects will turn Earth's climate into an unpredictable prehistoric era. Warm tropical areas will experience heavy snowfalls in the middle of spring, and deserts will see unprecedented levels of rainfall. Temperatures around the globe will become drastically unstable, High temperatures will be recorded at the poles as the Earth's axis tilts and freezing temperatures will be experienced along the equator. Small storms will spin out of control into typhoons and Category 5 hurricanes. Low wind areas will experience frequent tornadoes and the unstable gravity of the moon will cause tsunamis that will sweep into coastal cities. Winters become colder and summers get hotter as extreme weather becomes the new normal. Magnetic field the unstable nature of Earth's tilt and rotation will affect the planet's magnetic fields in more ways than one. First, compasses won't work and would need to be recalibrated to find true north all over again. Navigation systems will be of no help as most, if not all, our satellites have already been destroyed 
by the debris from the moon's separation. Birds and other migratory species wouldn't be able to fly to wait out winter as their inner compass would be unreliable with the change in the Earth's rotations. This would cause most of these species to die out from not knowing when to migrate and when to breed in time for summer. This new moon would knock down ecosystems around the world, flooding cities with millions of birds that have no idea when and where to migrate. Beaches would become dry as low tides pull the water back. Extreme weather phenomena would be a daily occurrence and humans would be thrown into societal chaos with strange sleep cycles. But we would be able to adapt to all these in a few decades or centuries and life will carry on as we persevere through the changes in our planet. But the worst is yet to come, distance from Earth. With the moon split into two halves, there are a few possible outcomes as to how these two half moons will behave in relation to Earth. One possibility is that both halves could still be close enough that they would continue to rotate and orbit each other until they eventually collide and fuse in several million years. The second and most likely outcome is both halves would be split so far apart that one half would begin to move away from Earth. The full moon is currently moving away from Earth at a slow pace of 1.5 inches per year. But with a split moon, the half on the far side would begin to drift away from Earth's gravity at a much faster pace due to its reduced mass, crashing into Earth. While life on Earth struggles to adjust to the new normal, a larger danger looms ahead as the new half moon is set on a collision course with Earth. Initially, the whole moon was in a somewhat stable orbit with Earth moving ever so slowly away from our planet. But now at half its original size and with the momentum from the collision that caused the split, the second half of the moon still orbiting the planet would be headed towards Earth. This may take a few months or even years depending on the level of energy and momentum the moon received, but it is surely heading for Earth. While the moon moves closer to Earth, it causes a series of devastating events. The moon's gravity would cause mega tsunamis around the world, pushing oceans into coastal cities only for the water to recess as the moon passes, but these tsunamis will return in 12 hours as the moon completes its rotation. That's not all. The moon's gravity would counter Earth's core like two magnets pushing against each other. This would cause tectonic plates to shift irregularly, causing massive earthquakes both on land and underneath the ocean floor. Volcanic eruptions would follow as the planet's core becomes unstable, shooting molten magma and volcanic ash into the atmosphere. But don't be alarmed, the moon wouldn't crash on Earth like the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs. Granted, it would be a thousand times more devastating in its effect. Our planet would be protected by what is known as the Roche limit. The Roche limit is the minimum distance at which a satellite like the moon can approach its primary body before being torn apart by tidal forces. This region is located approximately 11,000 miles above Earth, where the gravity of Earth becomes greater than the tidal forces holding the moon together. In essence, the half moon would be crushed by this invisible gravitational barrier, causing it to break apart into a million pieces. This event seems to stop the catastrophic collision of the moon and Earth, but it isn't any better either. The millions of moon debris now circling in orbit will form a ring around our planet, but not for long. Eventually, these millions of moon rocks will rain down on Earth, burning up in the atmosphere, before crashing into cities, forests, and oceans. The devastation would destroy civilization as we know it, and the burning atmosphere would deplete our planet of oxygen, making Earth almost uninhabitable. It would take hundreds or maybe even thousands of years for those that survive to adapt to the new order, but in some distant future, life will repopulate the Earth but it'll be much different than what we see today. So, however nice it would look to have two half moons in the night sky, the consequences that follow are just not worth the aesthetics of it all.